What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something a little bit different for you as I'm starting an NHL 23 Winnipeg Jets franchise mode. If you don't know what franchise mode is, basically I'm the GM and we're going to build up this Winnipeg Jets team and try to win a Stanley Cup, whether it takes one year, five years, or ten years. Uh, I don't know how long the series will go, but nonetheless I'm very excited. So we're going to take a look at who we've got to start off with this team in year one. First of all, Kyle Connor. He's going to be, you know, the face of the franchise here in Winnipeg. It's not a surprise that he's going to be our star player. 89 overall to start. This is a guy that scored 47 goals just a year ago, so we are definitely going to be leaning on Kyle Connor. Mark Shifley, of course, the center of your Winnipeg Jets. Only two years left on his deal. Will he be here long term? We will see. And now we've got the Dashing Dane, Nick Ehlers, on the wing. One of the best players the Jets have currently. Blake Wheeler, the ex-captain. How long does he have left in his career? Pierre-Luc Dubois, will he be a Jet long-term or will we have to move him? We will have to see as the season rolls on how successful these Jets are. And then of course, Cole Perfetti, a possible future captain for this team. Such a great playmaker. We'll see how he fits in this lineup, if he excels in the top six. And one day, hopefully, he will be one of our best players. Morgan Barron, Adam Lowry, Sam Gagne, Saku Manalainen, Gustafson, and Appleton round out the bottom six. We've got Morgan Barron acquired in the Andrew Kopp trade. Will he be a difference maker? Hopefully, going to be looking at him to add some offense to the bottom six. Of course, we've got Adam Lowry. He's been here forever. Hopefully, he's able to, you know, just keep doing what he does best. Just be a really strong defensive presence. We have him locked up for the next four seasons at 3.5. 0.25 so we'll see if he holds the 3c or if he moves to the 4 in the future and of course Sam Gagne on the wing beside him we'll see how he works out here in Winnipeg maybe he'll be around long term or maybe he moves to the fourth line if the third line doesn't start working Saku Manalainen is he a guy that's going to make the team we'll have to see as preseason progresses you know he played in Finland hasn't played in the NHL since the 18-19 season Next up, we've got David Gustafson, the 22-year-old center, very defensive-minded guy. Would be nice to develop a little bit of offense, but I think he's going to be generally a penalty-killing fourth-line center for the Winnipeg Jets. And now we've got Mason Appleton, who's been, you know, signed up to a big, long contract, three years for a 79 overall guy. We'll see if he sticks with this team long-term or if we try to move that contract. Now on defense, we've got Josh Morrissey. No surprise, he's the Jets' number one defenseman, Josh Norris. So he's locked up for six years at a bargain, 6.25. On Josh's right, we've got Neil Pionk, the offensive-minded defenseman with a booming shot. Three years left at 5.875. Hopefully he can contribute. Nate Schmidt up next now, the aging veteran making just under $6 million for the next three years. We will see if he's able to live up to that money or if he's going to sink the Jets with that cap hit. Brendan Dillon beside him on his left. Two years left at $3.9 million. Will he be able to live up to the expectations? We've got Logan Stanley, a guy that's going to have to fight in preseason for that last left defense spot. And right beside him, we've got Dylan DeMello. There's going to be lots of competition on defense, and I believe it will change quite a bit. And now we go over to goaltending, and we've got Connor Hellebuck. No surprise who the starter is going to be. This is the crown jewel of the Winnipeg Jets, and hopefully after his contract's up in two seasons, he wants to re-sign. Now we'll look at the rookies and prospects in the Winnipeg Jets system. Of course we have Cole Perfetti, but now we have Rucker McGrory. I did have to create him as obviously they don't have the NCAA in the EA Sports games, so Rucker McGrory, I did have to create him. He's got medium top six potential at 72 overall. He is just going to be thrown on the moose this season as I couldn't really throw him anywhere else. He does play in the NCAA, so he's going to play for the moose this season. We're not going to be paying attention to them too much, but we've got Dmitry Ryshevsky as well. Another guy that I had to create, he's a really slippery player playing out in Russia right now, and he's a really, really interesting player. He's a guy that could be on the Jets next season in real life, and I'd love to see that. So he will be with the Moose. Brad Lambert, a guy that I didn't have to create. He signed to a three-year ELC deal. Uh, 70 overall, low elite potential. Hopefully he's able to blossom into one of the best players on this Jets team. We're going to really need a lot of these guys to develop. The Jets have a lot of very good players to develop, so I think this is going to be a fun team to use here in franchise mode. We've got Chaz Lucius, medium top six potential at 69 overall. He's another guy that will hopefully be on the big club in two to three seasons. 
Now moving on to another guy I had to create was Nikita Chibrikov, 66 overall, low top 6 potential, playing in Russia. A really dynamic player that is just very raw and needs a lot of development, so hopefully he will be able to develop. Next up we have Declan Chisholm, 75 overall, he's been with the Moose for a few seasons now, 22 years of age. Will he be able to crack this team or will he be traded? We will have to see as we do have a lot of depth on defense. Of course, David Gustafson, as I talked about, Daniel Torgerson, just another guy that needs to round out his game with the Moose in the AHL. Next up here, we have Dylan Sandberg, who will be in a fight for that last left defense spot with Vili Hainala and Logan Stanley. We'll see if he's able to stand out. He got NHL games last season with Winnipeg. We'll see if he's able to crack the lineup. Henry Nykonen, another guy just needs to be rounded out a little bit in the AHL. Elias Salmonson, only 18 years old, definitely a project defenseman. He will be with the Moose as he has signed his ELC. And Danny Jilkin, same kind of thing, but he is unsigned, another project center. We will see what happens with Danny Jilkin. And lastly, we have Simon Lundmark, medium top six development for a defenseman. We'll see if he pans out. Now we're going to head over and look at the defensive competition for preseason. Logan Stanley is going to be playing with Neil Pionk, Vili Hainala will be playing with Nate Schmidt, and Dylan Sandberg will be playing with Dylan DeMello. Whoever plays the best in preseason will win the job and start in the first game of the year at least. Now we're going to head over to some preseason. So we're going to simulate these games. In the regular season, we may jump into games and watch CPU versus CPU, but right now we're just going to sim through these as it is just preseason, and we are not off to a good start as the Blues win 3-1, to but David Gustafson does break the shutout. Good to see him get on the board and the bottom six make an impact. Just take a look at the stats quick here. Not a great game for Winnipeg. Sandberg does pick up an assist though, so that's very nice, uh, and Saku Manalainen and getting an assist as well on that fourth line. Heading into game two here against Arizona, will the Jets be able to bounce back? And it's Morgan Barron scoring the first goal of the game. Hopefully he's able to be a solid third liner, but the Jets blow their lead and lose 3-2 in the third period. And Pierre-Luc Dubois picking up the other goal. In the bottom six there, Gagne picking up a point, Barron picking up the goal, and Cole Perfetti picking up an assist in his second preseason game. We'll take a look at now at the Avalanche game, game three of seven here in the preseason. Maybe the Jets can do a little bit better, and it's Nikolai Ehlers scoring. And he scores again there in the second period, and we go into the third. The Avs do tie it up, but with six seconds left, Vili Hainala rips one and scores. It's 3-2 Winnipeg, and that will be the game winner. This was obviously what we were hoping to see here. One of the defensive prospects coming in and making a big play, trying to lock down that last lefty position. We'll see if he can continue to play well. Now the only thing that I'm going to be changing here so far, I just want to switch Sam Gagne and Saku Manalainen. I just want to see if that does anything in the bottom six or if that ignites any offense. So that will be the only change for now as we head into the other games. All of the defensive lines are going to stay the same heading into the rest of the games here. After the fourth preseason game, the Jets lose 4-1 to Minnesota. It's Adam Lowry with the lone Winnipeg Jets goal. So obviously, you know, the offense is a little bit dry here in preseason. Manalainen did pick up an assist since being put up onto the third line, so that's nice to see. But we are going to head into game number five of seven of the preseason against the Chicago Blackhawks. The Jets are 1-3-0 to this point. Pretty disappointing preseason so far, but Mark Scheifele does score. And then in the second period, it's Pierre-Luc Dubois. It's 2-0 Winnipeg. Are they able to hold on? They are. Jonathan Tave scores, but the Jets will win 2-1. Let's take a look at the stats really quick here in preseason. Most of the top six chipping in with at least a goal or an assist, but Vili Hainala does pick up another one, and he does have five shots on goal. So Vili Hainala is impressing quite a lot here early on in the preseason. Now we are headed into game number six against the Nashville Predators. They are 4-1-0 in the preseason. Hopefully the Jets can add a little bit of offense. However, that does not look like that is going to happen once again. Nate Schmidt does score, but it's going to be the only goal for Winnipeg, and they lose 3-1. We'll just check out the stats going forward here. Vili picks up another assist. I do think right now that Hainala is going to be in the driver's seat to take that left D spot unless something happens here in the final preseason game against the Dallas Stars. However, it doesn't look like that would be the case here in game seven of seven as the Stars get up two nothing after two and will win four to nothing. 
There were some bright spots here in the preseason, but overall I thought it was pretty lackluster and there wasn't enough offense, so I'm going to be taking that into consideration. We're going to be looking at the point totals here, and Nick Ehlers, Mark Shifley, and Vili Hainala led the way in points. Uh, really nothing to speak of. Vili Hainala did put up three points in seven games. I was pretty impressed with him, as we've talked about before. Morgan Barron did have a goal and an assist. Saku Manalainen had two assists. But through those seven preseason games, nothing really happened. We'll see if that carries into the regular season. If there is a lack of offense, we may need to make a move to acquire a forward. After the seven games, this is the final roster to start the season. Cal Connor, Mark Scheifele, and Cole Perfetti on the top line. Blake Wheeler, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and Nikolai Ehlers on the second line. Morgan Barron, Adam Lowry playing with Sam Gagne on the wing there. That is going to be the third line. And then we'll have Saku Manalainen, David Gustafson, and Mason Appleton to start. Now heading over to the defense, Josh Morrissey and Neil Pionk. They will be the top pairing. Nate Schmidt with Brendan Dillon. That will be the second pairing. And on the third pairing, we've got Vili Hanala to start the year. He has won the job. He will be playing alongside Dylan DeMello on the right. None of these lines are engraved in stone. They will change more than likely. And then in goal, obviously, Connor Hellebuck with David Riddick. Nothing is going to change there. Now we'll go a look at who's scratched Dylan Sandberg, Logan Stanley, and Mikey Isomont. Isomont is a guy that will definitely get a shot, but for right now, we are going to send down uh, Dylan Sandberg to the Manitoba Moose as he does have a two way contract. Logan Stanley doesn't. Uh, so he will go down and play with the Moose to start the year. And we are actually going to call up Jansen Harkins uh, as we just need extra forward depth there. Stanley will be the seventh defenseman to start the year. But right now, those are going to be the moves. And that is the end. End of preseason. One more thing to add here, guys, I just forgot with the power play. This is going to be power play one. And then moving on here, we've got power play two with Cole Perfetti, Nikolai Ehlers, and Vili Hainala with Neil Pionk and Sam Gagne in front. In the next episode of Jets Franchise, we will be taking on the New York Rangers in the home opener. We'll be taking on former Winnipeg Jet Jacob Truba and a lot of other great players on that Rangers team. Uh, maybe we'll hop into that one and watch a little bit of it and then maybe sim through the first 10 or 15 games of the year. But yeah, guys, I would love to hear from you guys on what you guys think about the series so far. Are you guys excited for this? Is there any tips that you guys would like to leave me down below in the comments? Uh, this was all pre-recorded, obviously, with uh, me just commentating over it after. However, I do think that I'm going to be doing live commentary for the rest of it as I do think it would be a little bit easier but that's going to be the end of this video everybody uh, thanks so much for watching thanks so much for checking out episode one of the Winnipeg Jets franchise mode uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down below if you have any you know tips or things that you would like to see done in the franchise I'd love to hear all that so thanks so much for watching I will see you guys in the next episode have a great day everyone go Jets go bye bye